So uh, there's a, a show on television called Inside the Actors Studio, if you're familiar with it at all, where professionals come and they interview them. And what they're really trying to do is to get that professional to externalize a process that they've just intuited. So uh, along with Bob Bain, we, did a we do a variation of it called Inside the Historian Study. And so it gives teachers the chance to ask questions to say, how do you, how do you work? How, how do you do this? So that they hear teachers, they hear professors rather, um, scholars in the field say, this is how I, I go about it. And most of them have done it so many times that it's just second nature to them. For them to externalize that process and really verbalize it so that teachers can be clear about it. Teachers sometimes, again, after teaching for many years, they may kind of intuitively do it, but if they can, if they can make it even more clear for themselves and for their students, it seems to raise the whole level of what happens. Part of our grant was to collect, uh, connect rather the local um, situation, local events with the national narrative and try and realize that place really, really matters and that if students can connect those things, it's a lot richer envir environment for them. We're going to go down to the Basque Museum and Cultural Center. Boise has a pretty sizable Basque community, ethnic group in, in Spain and France that, that runs along the border there. And so I think that we're, we're more sensitive to saying, okay, where could it fit? Where does it fit in the curriculum? Where could it fit in the curriculum? What's the problem that we're dealing with? And then what's the sources that we could tag that would more accurately help them work with this, pro work with this problem rather with their students in their classroom at the 5th, 9th, and 11th? So in that way, it feels like it's much more bottom up, it's much more consistent with this process that we've been talking about. And it's less just hoping that if you pour enough information in, somehow it's going gonna, it's gonna to stick a couple topics that might help teachers out. We feel like it's just a much more a much more a much more natural way in the sense that that's really how historians work, and ultimately we think that's what that's how students learn or, or learn more effectively anyway. What we have found at another lesson learned it is very difficult for teachers to think of curriculum in terms of problem or problem spaces or essential questions and enduring understandings. That's kind of Jay McTie and Grant Wagon's you know verbiage for it. That's a kind of that is a one marker of a of a uh, higher quality of intellectual engagement that we would hope to see in instruction, in lesson planning, and finally in student work. So when kids are engaged in problems and thinking about it during understandings, that's a higher level of intellectual quality, and that's what we're looking for.